Alrighty, so here we are back once again with some more Warframe. And yet again, quickly before I start the video, I am live right now on Twitch and will be for the next few hours. In fact, you guys can take it that every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at this time, I will be live over on Twitch. I know Scumbag Potato trying to promote his Twitch, but hey, I'm actually enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it and I don't have a subscriber button or anything. So it's kind of just to play with you guys. So hopefully I'll see some of you over on Twitch. Now in a few of my previous videos, I mentioned or touched on the subject of the importance of having synergy between frames or weapons, I guess, in squad gameplay in Warframe and how it's something that we really need more of in the game and something that I would love to see more of in the game. Frames that can use their powers in combination with one another and in effect boost the squad's overall potential or survivability or just the potential of those two frames in particular would be awesome. Like when Volt could use his shield inside of Limbo's Cataclysm and allow hitscan weapons to fire through those shields, it kind of give Limbo a place in the game along with Volt for defense missions and that is now gone. They took it out of the game in a bit of a stealth nerf and it no longer works. So that synergy is, is dead, I guess. Or when Equinox's maim would be a guaranteed hit on Banshee's sonar spots. That no longer works like it used to as well. This combination would allow you to nuke whole rooms of low level enemies but if we're all going to be honest that one may have been a little bit too powerful and had to be tuned down a little bit I guess maybe I'm wrong or even the powerful combination of Zephyr with the no bounce Tonkor once you've got loads of armor thrown onto both of those and once you've got the power strength and the mods needed to have that build and have that absolute destruction at your hands these are things that I feel allow us to have a lot more fun in game and allow a lot more frames to be more viable in certain mission types. So as the recruitment chat isn't demanding you to be mastery rank 18 or something stupid like that, which is really ridiculous when you think about it. Some of the lower level mastery guys are better players than the higher level mastery guys. But anyway, last night my Patreons and I decided to run a Tower for Survival with four female frames, a femme fatale run, I guess you could say, relatively fragile enough frames, so there was no Valkyrie, or, of course, no Chroma or Frost, but they're male anyway, so put them to one side. Although some of you might say the Chroma is female, so fuck you guys. Just damage and support female frames, that's all we wanted to bring. Now, frames that would hopefully bounce each other's abilities off one another to aid the whole group and help maximize our damage output, our survivability, and to see how much fun we could have once we got to the higher levels and shit got really hard. So the squad consisted of my Saren to spread those viral procs and those amazing spores all over the place because those numbers are just incredible to see. A slow Nova to give us some kind of crowd control management as well as boosting that overall damage. A mag for shield polarize which was our most effective ability and a frame that actually done the most damage and had the most kills for the entire run which was 85 minutes which might surprise some of you guys that mag was that effective. Guys that run with mag and have been using mag for a while will know just how effective she actually is. We also of course brought the almost nearly required now for every really long run trinity for heals and energy at the much higher waves and yeah like I said I know it's a trinity but hey from the 80th minute these frames were literally getting one shotted by shotguns, by nullifiers, by the splash damage from bombards so trinity was kind of a requirement. The combination of my spores with molecular prime from nova was absolutely amazing. They spread further because of the deaths that Molecular Prime aided us with and with Shield Polarize killing huge groups of enemies as well. The spores were literally going from one room into the next through doorways because of the effectiveness of those three frames. This run was a lot of fun and we honestly thought that from about the hour mark we would start to struggle and start to get put down a lot but it really wasn't until the 84th minute or 83rd minute, somewhere around the 80th minute I guess anyway that we started to get slapped around a little and started to get put down. If you want to know what my Saren build was, then it is in one of my previous Saren videos. I haven't changed it, so go check that out. I will have a video on the Shield Polarized Mag in the next few days as well because it nuked absolutely everything in combination with Molecular Prime and those spores. I will leave you guys with some of the footage to show you what kind of fun we had. Let me know what you guys think of this Femme Fatale group or who else we could have brought, maybe instead of Mag or instead of Sauron, maybe we could have brought a, a Banshee for those resonance spots. Like I said, I am live on Twitch right now. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more Warframe. I will see you in the next one and as always, thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Fucking Mo comes through the door and gets pulled straight into the wall. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> I always starting to run away and it's oh. oh yeah, that's because Mac was up the oh. facet. 
Yeah, 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 coming up now, coming up now. More right behind you, watch out. And a nolly down there. And another fire oh. down here. That was the nullifier. How the fuck did he manage to hit me? What a dick. I'll get the sniper. Oh, he's aiming at now. Drone. Got it. Another fire coming down the. I guess he was said front door. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to go down there and get a bunch of resort. Ah, oh, fuck it. I can give you a blessing. I haven't died yet. <laughs> I was already down there. There you go. Just in case. I think you could go pretty far if you were willing to use some advice. Yeah. No, I don't know how far you just want to really go. Minute, I'm just down the bottom here trying to pick up as many fucking mods as I can. Yep. Yeah, just let me know if you want to go looting. I can just. Yeah, I just. No, no, I only ran down just to, to get what I could and then back up. Yeah. <laughs> Bombard across the way. No, heavy gunner. Arctic, Arctic heavy gunner. There's so many red dots below us right now. Oh Something shit! Ridiculous. No, no, leave no. Blessing. Use your blessing. Use your blessing. Thirty-nine. Are we getting out? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Go, go. Exit. Exit. Just dash, dash. Yeah. Fuck off, Pocho. You got me in the doorway. Is that 80, 85, 86? Yeah, near enough 86. Yeah, out. one hour and 26. Hmm. Look at all those Oregon spells. Jesus. Three Oregon cells, three Oregon cells, three Oregon cells, three Oregon cells, three Oregon cells. 60 Argon crystals. Yeah, I got 38. Well, because I don't have money booster. Yeah, I have to boost us. Yeah. Damn. Look at nice look run. Chassis. Mm -hmm. Ash brain, chassis. Brain no brain, bulky brain, bulky brain, brain no brain. Two Oberon chassis. <laughs> Oberon is had again in mix. I got three Oberon chassis. <laughs> what did you get? What was your abilities used? 1246. Yeah, it says 49 on mine. Does it? 1249, one, yeah. On mine it says uh, I used 634 on mine. How many Argo crystals did you get? 60. Five fusion cores. Was that all we got? Was just five. Uh, uh, really? Wow. Five, five and seven. I got two hundred and twenty thousand in alloy plate. Fucking, no, I have only one hundred and twenty-eight thousand alloy plate. One hundred twenty-five thousand mission credits. Did you just get that as well? Yeah. Yeah.